Welcome to another project here on Pete's Projects. It's a really miserable, rainy Saturday morning. I'm sure you can hear the noise off the roof of the rain. Hopefully you can hear me okay. But our mission today is fix this lawnmower. Now, I've owned this for at least 15 years and I bought it used. So I really have no idea how old it is, but you know, it's, it's not new, let's put it that way. So my current problem is that it has developed a gas leak. So, you know, when it sits with some gas in the tank for a week, you come back, the tank is dry. So we're gonna have to tear this apart, figure out where we're losing that gas and get that fixed. For those of you who are curious, this is a Honda Harmony 215. It's the 5.0 model, and I don't think they're talking about five liters either. I have no idea what 5.0 refers to, but there you go. I suspect that Honda has made many different variations of the Harmony 215. So this may or may not match up with yours. Well, I'm gonna start out by taking this starter cover off, or this rope winding cover. There's one screw right here. There we go. And then there are these, I remember these push pads here that hold this in place. There we go. So basically, you know, it just comes off like that. When we get this cover off, we have to remove these three bolts right here and then that frees up the, the whole cover to come up so we up the gas cap. Right, so I took these three bolts off there, they're 10 millimeter. Once you've done that you can work this off the top there. This actually includes the gas tank is actually part of this integrated, just one piece of plastic here. So, first what I'm going to do is disconnect the fuel line from the carburetor. All right, so I got you in here close where this fuel line comes out of the tank, right down here. There's just like this little spring clip on here. So I just use this to, you know, pull it apart and work it back off the hose. Now I should be able to work that hose off of the off of the shutoff valve from there. Now what's interesting is I'm in here looking at this, I notice this thing is moving around. That doesn't seem good to me. So maybe that's where my problem is, is where this is connected. You know, maybe it's had to come loose or maybe it's broken, I don't know, but we'll have to dig deeper and see what's going on there. There we go, now I got her off. that's off so this is what it looks like underneath you know I don't this hose line this hose line could certainly be have a break in it somewhere I guess I'll have to try and get it off and clean it up a little bit and take a closer look at it but if I have some of this hose line I probably just replace this just to be sure Next thing I'm going to do is remove these two nuts, pull this bolt off, and then I think this uh, air cleaner cover will come off and I can pull the carburetor. Maybe that'll give me better visibility into what's going on back here. Alrighty, so I pulled that cover off. All I had to do is disconnect those two bolts, take those two nuts off, and then there was another bolt that I took out, which allowed me to remove, yeah, this piece right here. All right, allowed me to remove this piece. And I had to disconnect this. Uh, I assume this is like a vacuum hose of some type, but it just pulled right off. Now, I noticed, hey, look, there's another fuel line coming over here to the carburetor. Now, I don't know where that fuel line connects back here, but clearly it does because everything's hidden behind all this linkage stuff. So I just pulled the bolt out of there. 
and I'm gonna pull this one out, hoping I can just pull this forward and see what's going on back there. Alrighty then. Oh yeah, that does expose quite a bit of mystery. I gotta be a little careful with this. But here, see this fuel line from here, just comes right over into here. You notice that the fact this moves around doesn't matter at all because it's right to a hose. So my leak could certainly be in that hose. It's definitely a possibility. So I'll have to try to figure that out. I have to be careful with this thing. I don't want to pull too much because I got, there's a spring connected down there. Well, I just got back from my new favorite hardware store, bought some fuel line so that I can replace both of these pieces from the tank to the shutoff valve and the shutoff valve to the carburetor. So I'll do that. We'll get the tank mounted back on uh, just temporarily so we can put a little gas in it. And then I'll see if I can identify any leaks after that. Hopefully it works okay. We'll see. Well, I'm not going to bore you with all the gory details as I replace these hoses. I think uh, really only two tips that I would mention. First of all, I decided to just cut the hose to length using a, a, a simple razor blade. Probably not the best choice by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, you know, you do you. Now, this hose is pretty tight putting it back together because it's brand new hose and it's, you know, it's pretty smooth of the, or pretty tight getting it over those those uh, nipples. So they suggested you use a WD-40. I just use this liquid wrench I happen to have and put a little that inside the hose and start shoving and you'll get it on there. So I'm going to save you 10 minutes of boring video and we'll jump right to the point where we have the new hoses in place and we're going to try and test out whether we've still got a leak. Okay, well you can see I got it put back together. Put a little gas in it. And uh, I guess I just look and see now. I can tell you what, this new hose is a lot tighter than that old hose was. So, well, I mean, if the leak, let's face it, if the leak wasn't in one of the, it's not in the tank, I mean, the tank looks perfectly fine to me. If it's not in the, one of the hoses or one of the connections, it's almost got to be leaking out of the carburetor. So, I guess I'll just wait and see for now. So I'll be back when I know more. Well, it's only been five minutes since I turned the camera off, but I know more. You look down here, I can see this is getting wet right on the carburetor. When I reach down here and touch one of these fuel screws, there you go, there's gas. So it's leaking out of, out of the bowl. So luckily this has a shutoff valve on it. Maybe what I'm gonna need is a new gasket here. Maybe it's just, you know, maybe it's just loose. I don't know. See if I can get a wrench for that. So I noticed when I got my wrench on this right here, that the whole, this whole bowl was turning, which tells me that there's a bolt right on the very bottom that pulls that bowl up against the carburetor. That bolt wasn't tight anymore. So I tightened that up. So let's do this. This is going to be our test.
Fortunately, this has a fuel shutoff. So let's turn the fuel back on. And let's see if the paper towel accumulates any fuel or not. Okay, <clears throat> I'm back. It's been about five minutes. Paper towel is perfectly dry. So I think we found our problem. Well, you could say my problem determination or problem isolation skills there were faulty. And I would absolutely agree. Probably the smart thing to do would have been, of course, I would have to remove this. I wouldn't, don't think I would have been able to detect that if I hadn't removed the air cleaner. But, you know, if I'd exposed all this, put a little fuel in and just sat and watched, I probably would identify that was the problem and that the hoses were okay. So probably could have saved myself some time and energy. Five dollars in fuel hose, but it is where it is. So I'll just button this back up and uh, we'll call this project done. So if you like these kind of videos, you know, I'd love to have you give me a like, and maybe even a subscribe. Because I'd certainly like to get to a thousand subscribers. That would be wonderful. Thanks for watching. See ya.